Mr. Putter and Tabby See the Stars by Cynthia Ryland, pictures by Arthur Howard. There's the title page. Here's the title page, of course. We know the three things are on each title page. The title, and the author's name, and then the illustrator's name, and then often a picture, too. Mr. Putter and Tabby See the Stars. Three chapters. Chapter one, logs. Chapter two, grumble. Chapter three, stars. Chapter one, logs. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby loved to sleep. They could sleep anywhere. They slept in chairs, in swings, in cars, in tubs, and sometimes in the laundry room. Mr. Putter and Tabby also slept in a bed. Of course, most of the time, sleeping in a bed was just fine. Mr. Putter plumped his pillow, Tabby squished hers, and they slept like logs. But one night, one of the logs could not sleep. Chapter 2. Grumble. Mr. Putter was the log who could not sleep. He could not sleep because he had eaten too many pineapple jelly rolls at Mrs. Teaberry's house. Mrs. Teaberry was Mr. Putter's good friend and neighbor, and she liked to feed him. She liked to feed everybody, but most of all, she liked to feed Mr. Putter. She was always sending her good dog, Zeke, over to Mr. Putter's house with a note. The note always said, Are you hungry? And Mr. Putter always said, Yes. So he and Tabby went next door a lot. But tonight, Mr. Putter had been having such a good time that he lost track and ate 21 jelly rolls. He forgot to count them as he popped them one at a time into his mouth. Before he knew it, 21 jelly rolls were gone, and it was time to go home. Mrs. Teaberry was happy that Mr. Putter enjoyed her jelly rolls so much. But Mr. Putter's stomach was not. It grumbled and grumbled and grumbled. Mr. Putter looked at his nice soft bed when he got home. G-R-U-M-B-L-E, grumble, grumbled his stomach. Mr. Putter knew he would not be able to sleep with all that grumbling. What to do? Mr. Putter looked at Tabby. Then he got an idea. Chapter 3. Stars. Let's go for a walk, Mr. Putter said. He put his coat back on. He put his hat back on. He picked up Tabby, and out the door they went. It was a beautiful night. The moon was full, and moonlight was everywhere. Tabby looked. She listened. She twitched her ears. She twitched her tail. She loved the night. Mr. Putter loved it, too even with a grumbling stomach. Mr. Putter looked up at the sky. He showed Tabby the stars, and he told her all about them. He told her that the Big Dipper was full of milk from the Milky Way. Tabby purred. She loved milk. He told her about looking at stars when he was a boy, and how he had always wanted to ride in a rocket ship. He told her how he had always dreamed of adventure. Tabby purred some more. Mr. Putter and Tabby made a nice big circle around the neighborhood. They looked at the sky. They looked at the yellow lights of the houses. They looked at the cats sitting in windows, looking back at them. And when at last they circled back home, they stopped in front of Mrs. Teaberry's house. Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke were on the front lawn. Mrs. Teaberry, what are you doing up? asked Mr. Putter. Zeke has a grumbling stomach, said Mrs. Teaberry. He ate too many jelly rolls, and we can't sleep. Mr. Putter and Tabby were delighted. They sat on the lawn with Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke. Mr. Putter's stomach and Zeke's stomach talked to each other, while Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry talked to each other. They told stories in the moonlight. They told secrets. They made each other laugh. And when the stomachs on the front lawn stopped grumbling, everyone said goodnight, went to bed, and slept like logs. In the morning, Mr. Putter heard a scratching at the door. He opened it. It was Zeke with a note. The note said, Are you hungry? Mr. Putter smiled. He picked up Tabby, and together they walked next door.